Hey, we are back at it again. If you don't know, this is a follow-up video to a thing I made back in July where I ranked 300 Disney songs. And I knew when I made that that I was going to be like, man, I'm going to I'm gonna regret not just waiting until Wish comes out to do this because I'm going to want to rank all the Wish songs. And I was like, ah, I want to do it now. I'll just do it anyway. Uh, and now here I am, Wish has come out, and I regret not waiting until Wish came out. So we're just going to do this little add-on. It's not just Wish stuff here. We're going to do Wish at the end. Um, but we're also going to do just a handful of things that I forgot about. So we've got 20 more 20 more Disney songs here to rank, and we're just going to rank it, put it into the original ranking. We're going to try and go relatively quickly. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, here we are, wearing the same shirt for posterity. I have more than one shirt, I swear. So starting us off all the way back to at Snow White, we have With a Smile and a Song. This is just a song I to that totally slipped my mind the first go around. It's like, it's good. It's a nice little song. It's not terribly long. Definitely better than Whistle While You Work. Probably below Someday My Prince Will Come, though. I'll put it, I'll put it under the Unbirthday song. Yeah, that feels right. Saludos Amigos from Saludos Amigos. This is the main title track. It's nice. I enjoy, it's not going to rank super high, but I. it's a neat little number. And, you know, I kind of, I'm thinking about it in the same realm as sort of the other main title tracks, such as Alice in Wonderland. Here, below Bippity Boppity Boo. Next up, Daughters of Triton. Uh, it's all, it's basically the roll call of all of Ariel's sisters, and then they get to Ariel, and she's not there. Oh, she's off at the sunken ship. Um, it's, the, this is not a major number. I, I just, like, it was just one of those things where, like, oh, yeah, I did kind of forget a Little Mermaid song, didn't I? But, like, it's not even le better than, like, Le Poisson. It can go there. Yeah, that's where, that's where Daughters of Triton go. Sure. Now we hit a House of Mouse. I just never, it never really crossed my mind that, like, oh, yeah, there probably is a House of Mouse sa soundtrack on, like, iTunes and shit. I could totally grab that. The thing with House of Mouse is that a lot of the songs in it are just, like, variants of other Disney songs. So there's, like, the King Louis thing that's, like, I want to be like M.O.U., which is just a variant of I want to be like you. So there's a lot of those. So I, I wanted to limit it to, like, the completely original songs. First off, the theme song, Rockin' at the House of Mouse. Yeah, it, it, it bangs. It's, it's pretty damn good. But, like, of all the theme songs in here, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not sure it's, it might be better than Wind in My Hair, which is right there, actually. Put it, we'll put it right here, right above Mr. Incredible's theme. Next up is Me the Mouse and I'm the Duck. This is the only Daisy Duck song I was able to find. It's a shame that it's very, like, whatever. It's, it's like, it's cute. It's a song about pronouncing things differently, even though for, like, the first half of it, the pronunciation differences they're talking about are just differences between, like, the noun version and the verb version of certain words, which is, like, weird. You can go, like, here. There. Me, the mouse, and I'm the duck. Cool. Here we have My Name is Panchito, or more accurately, Panchito Romero Miguel Junipero Francisco Quintero Gonzalez. It's cute. I like it. I definitely prefer this song to the other Three Caballeros song House of Mouse did, because that one, that one, it's called We Are the Three Caballeros, and it feels like just a diet version of the original track, and it's just kind of lame. Here, right above why I'm roller coaster ride. There's one thing that bothers me about the song, it's the very beginning, is that uh, they've been mispronouncing Carioca's name for like a long time now. So, and I've been fucking it up too, which is my bad. But uh, his name is not pronounced Jose. That's the Hispanic pronunciation and the pronunciation they've been using since House of Mouse. But uh, the Brazilian Portuguese pronunciation is actually Jose. Um, and they got that right in the original movie and then like and like through to the 60s. But then whatever reason, modern incarnations of the character, they just keep fucking up his name. All right, well, moving on. The Ludwig von Drake song. This is super cute. This is my favorite one. It's, it's just a big like rattling off a bunch of Disney characters and a fun song. And it's kind of, again, it's kind of a novelty, but, like, it's a good novelty. I like it a lot. There. Yeah, between Waiting on a Miracle and the Happy Working Song. I like that. Okay. Okay, a couple Stray Phineas and Ferb songs that I wanted to add. Uh, these are just two that, like, ever since I did the original video, I was like, man, I kind of wish I threw these two in. So first up is City of Love. This is from the Summer Belongs to You special, and it's... Isabella and Phineas, they're in Paris, and Isabella wants it to be a romantic thing, and Phineas is just totally oblivious. And it's a very cute song. I do I do like it a lot. I think I'll put it right there, between the family Madrigal and I don't know what Christmas is, but Christmas time is here. Yeah. Okay. And then the other Phineas and Ferb song I grabbed was Brand New Best Friend. Doofenshmirtz's voice is not great for singing, and I was like, ah, this is like... Not the best song to listen to, but then I was like, man, we really should have a Doofenshmirtz song in here. And this is a major song from the movie. It feels it feels kind of weird for it to be missing. So I ended up throwing it in, but I'm I'm going to be real. It's not going to rank super high. This is It's just one of those where, like, I appreciate the commitment to the character voice, but it does make the song really, really hard to listen to. 
We're going to put it there, in between The World is Mi Familia and The Perfect World Reprise. Next up, we have Lava, which is from a Pixar short, and this is just a very cute, like, little love story told entirely through song between two volcanoes. It's not, like, immediately putting me to tears, as I feel like it does for some people for some reason, but, like, it's cute. I do like it here, right under Nobody Else But You. We got a couple songs from the modern Paul Rudish Mickey Mouse shorts. They, they have a handful of these available. These are two of my favorites. They'll let it be known that if the Adorable Couple track was available, I would have it and it would be really, really high up because I love that track. Our Homespun Melody, if you don't remember this short, this is Mickey Has a Pig. It's a really cute number. I really enjoy it. It's not going this high, but it's gonna go like, like I like it like just about as much as something like the Ludwig von Drake song. Well, it doesn't go above Why Should I Worry. Okay, right there. Between Kiss the Girl and La Llorona, Carry It Away. Minnie has written this song for Mickey and they're on a boat and she's playing it for him. It's cute. I like it. Uh, I'm putting it. Actually, yeah, right there. I like that spot. Between If I Didn't Have You and Come Home Harry. Yeah, that works. Now we're finally on to the movies that came out relatively recently, except we're not at Wish yet. This is Voices of Aladna? It's Aladna. <laughs> it's Voices of Aladna. So when I went in to go see the Marvels, I was not expecting like any music, because why would I? But then they get to this, uh, spoilers, I guess, they get to this planet where their entire language is just, they have to, they have to speak through song. Like this track is basically made up of three kind of smaller numbers that are attached through some degree of instrumental and it's really cute I, I i love this idea so much it's just like yeah yeah this is a fun stupid planet idea it's like this culture has exclusively communicated through song and now you have to deal with that maybe below mother knows best yeah yeah okay there and now finally we get to wish so wish has seven tracks at least by my count like general thoughts on the movie are it was good i liked it i mean it's kind of weird because it, it feels very like structured to be a celebration of Disney up to this point, which is a weird, which is a weird, it's a weird thing for a movie to do because it, it kind of feels like to an extent it kind of lost a bit of its own identity in, in the heat of just needing to be this celebration, but I still had a really good time with it. The opening number, Welcome to Rosas, is one of my favorites for sure from the movie. I think it's really open strong. It's just a fun tune, strong establishing number, sets everything up really well, and I, I just, I just groove to it. Yeah, yeah, this it's this one especially. This one grooves. I like that. So between Proud of Your Boy and Nothing Left to Lose, Welcome to Rosas. What might be my favorite song in the movie at all costs. It does just kind of sound like a love song. It, this whole movie kind of has that problem. The lyrics are just non-specific enough where like, yes, they apply to what's going on in the movie, but you could totally rip them out of the movie and they're still listenable, which I don't love. I feel like, you know, you should overall be trying to make your lyrics more specific and more intrinsic to the identity of the movie, but that's just me. I think this song works really well, and it's sort of, it's the song that needs to justify to you as the viewer why the wishes are so important. It needs to capture that emotion, and I think it does that very well, and I think kind of using the love song vibe to do that is really interesting, and I really like it. Where If the lyrics were a little more specific, I think I'd be willing to rank it above, but because they're not, I think I'm gonna put it below. Yeah, I think right there. It's very close, though. I rank these two songs very highly. Kind of where the movie peaks. Because now we get to This Wish, which is the I Want song. It's the one that's appeared in all the trailers. And this is where, like, okay, the problem of the lyrics kind of being a little nonspecific is, like, this is where it really starts to hurt the movie. It's kind of like, it's a painfully catchy tune. Like, I, this, like, ultimately, this is the song you're going to come out of the movie, like, humming. And it kind of, like, it's earned. But I feel like there's a part of me that's like, I like this for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I'll put it right here between I've Got a Dream and the finale reprise of Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, next up, I'm a Star. Um, spoilers, by the way. I, those first three weren't super spoilery. The Animals song. This is like the sidekick song, effectively. And we get Valentino singing, which I find really funny because Alan Tudyk is literally just doing his King River voice from Star Wars The Forces of Evil. This song, it's the most fun song in the movie. But, like, I do feel like it, it thinks its message is cooler than it actually is, you know? Here, I'll put it above Hakuna Matata. So between Give a Little Whistle and Hakuna Matata. There. Next up, we have This is the Thanks I Get. It's not great. Hoping for more of the villain vibe, and this is a little too... It's a little too poppy. It's fine. There. That's where it'll go. It'll go in between If I Can't Love Her and It's Tough to Be a Villain. Because it is catchy. Like, it, 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 it can be fun. Alright, knowing what I know now, this is our, like, revolution song. 
I think this one at least has more of an identity. They're talking sp more specifics. I don't really, I can't really think of another Disney like revolution song. So it's at least interesting in that regard, but it's still not like great. Like I'll put it here above the Baxen song. Actually, no, below the Baxen song there, <laughs> between Baxen and Court of Miracles. And then finally, last song of the video, we have This Wish Reprise. I definitely like the idea behind this, turning the I Want song into more of a rallying cry and, and musically expressing sort of the big thing, which is, you know, wishing. Like, it, the whole movie is about the power of wishes. There. Yeah, between the Muppet Show theme and Wind in My Hair. I realize now, after doing it all, Wish soundtrack is... It's not bad at all. I, I, I overall enjoyed it, but it's definitely a little weaker. Still a solid movie. I, I did really enjoy it. All right, well, that's that. I'm not going to do data analysis this time. I might do it on my own time and just update the letterbox list. So follow me on Letterbox if you want to see that. All right, I think I'm done here. But thanks for watching. Goodbye.